But here we are, Anthony. It's the weekly podcast, and just yes. tell us where we are. It's a beautiful sunny day. It's a beautiful sunny day in a beautiful part of the world. We're in Limeside, Oldham comes under. I've rolls at the Best of Care Stadium outside my gym because the sun's, um, yeah. Fox ABC. Fox ABC's behind me. That's and, where all the magic happens. Um, yep. And um, we're outside in the beer garden. Mm. It doesn't look like a beer garden. Yeah, it is a beer garden, mm. isn't it? The clubhouse behind it does yeah. a nice pint, doesn't it? It does. It does a decent pint of Guinness, which I've yeah. said numerous times, yeah. That was a good little spot. And you've had a busy weekend. I mean, obviously a few days in now, but yeah. you were at the Joyce Parker fight. It was, no, uh, Joyce Tesoro. Joyce Tesoro. What am I about you? Yeah. I don't know. They have fought, though. Yeah. You were there um, in your suit. You didn't unbutton your jacket, and then you got a bit of stick for that. Honest, but, um, do you know what? I genuinely, I'm not being stupid. I genuinely didn't realise until after the main event. And my wife was. And your it. wife, yeah. you know, was one I of know. them. I had a few people message her, my mate, all the, yeah. a good few. And I, honestly, I genuinely didn't. And I noticed it looked like I was bursting out of. Do you know what I mean? Put a bit of size on. I was bursting out <laughs> my shirt. Yeah, I messed up really, but yeah. never mind. Never mind. But win some, lose some. The two boys put on a bit of a show. It was. Um, oh. It was in some ways an uncomfortable spectacle, no. though, wasn't it? Do you know what? I said that right. You don't want to see anyone taking that amount of punishment. Mm. But from an entertainment, in fact, it was, I thought it was brilliant. I thought yeah. it was brilliant like that. But that kind of, the promoter found well and after it, that kind of fight, it takes, it takes years off your career yeah. and, and neither at this point can afford that. Mm. And I'll be deadly honest as well, I hardly give Derek uh, Chisora a chance. I yeah. really didn't. I thought if Joel's there after two rounds, He'll burst the lungs of Derek, which it looked like he was going to, and stop Derek, and then uh, I was wrong yeah. again. So what was it like, the, the gig itself? I mean, the O2 was bouncing a no, bit. No, it was. a good crowd in there. Um, Chisora, Chisora was very much the home fighter. Yeah. Very much the home fighter. Uh, you know what? I thought it was a top card, genuinely. Yeah. I thought it was a really good card. I thought it was a fantastic performance from Dennis McCann and... Um, Moses the two oh, special talent, special so special talent. Something else, doesn't he? Ah, uh, I've been, you know, I've been on the Moses the two yeah, hype yeah. train since before. Well, since he started knocking people out. No, yeah. no, you know, I was on it early, Dom. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I thought the Ryan Garner Archie Sharp fight was a yeah. really good fight. And yeah, no, I thought listen, Raven Chapman saw Colin because we was in the back, we was in the green room, was getting in. Oh yeah, so what's it like? Access, access all areas, you yeah. Know what? It was, yeah, it was a proper um, cool green room. And you know what it had? It had a secret room. <laughs> Like, should probably should have even been saying this. I have no idea. Like, inside the green room, there's like a bookcase. Yeah. A little like handle. Sounds like, good. So I was just looking through the CDs and stuff like that. I thought, hang on a minute. And then there's like another room at the back. So what's that for? I don't know. It's where the acts might want to go to get away from everything and. The VVIP room. It was like the VVIP room, yeah. And you it got was, in. Was, I got in, yes. Yeah. So if you want to call me one of them, you can. But I literally went in mm. to get changed, and that's all that was used for. It was, it was, it was no, oh, it was who's this now? Jesus, James yeah. Moorcroft leaving James, the gym. James, vocals. Yeah. yeah, he's a good singer, James, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He is. Um, he's a good vocalist. Yeah. He's Moorcroft. not bad at all. Not a good session, James. It's a really good session today, mate. Nice to be back. You know, he's been. Yeah. Been a bit, been a crazy week last week for me. So yeah. 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 Tell him, James, you, Sorry, you're recovering from long COVID, aren't you? Yeah, I picked it up last week, but I'm not the kind of guy who's going to come in the gym. No, We've got not. William Crow there. Um, Rihanna in big fights, so team player. Play. You are a team player, James. Mate, from the court. Yeah. From yeah. The well, you'll be out soon. You know, what people don't forget is me and I'm from the start. Oh, oh, that's yeah. it. You know, we yeah. had it. We had it. be lads in there, it weren't for us a lot. Tell him, right. James. Right. Tell him. That's right. Yeah. Only one Wigan warrior. Brought his negative testing this morning to show us all as well. Fair play. Yeah, he's, he's a good, got he's a good guy. He's a team player, mate. Whatever was four weeks out, I'd still do it, you know. Yeah, alright. Sometimes you've just got to give to receive. You do. No. Boys, catch what a man. Yeah. There you Chow, go. Ta, James. So James has left the building. Yeah. Still plenty more to uh, to leave. It's been a busy one today, hasn't it? You yeah, it's been a busy of, one. Plenty of talent in there Good today. Conditioning it session. <laughs> it's, um, it was he called it. Uh, yeah, it was a busy one. James, as usual, uh, Phoenix and nice references. It's uh, but yeah, no. So they're going to spar again. Uh, Summer in tomorrow. Mm. Bit of technique work. Sparring Wednesday. And yeah, I'm going to go in there as soon as we're done and uh, crack on with Rhiannon Dixon. Yeah, yeah. Well, we mentioned access all areas because uh, if you remember the, the word of the day, like on Sesame Street, there's Sahir. Sahir's leaving for the day as well. Yeah. Sahir. Good stuff, Sahir. See you in a bit, mate. Um, yeah, the Sesame Street word of the day. Yeah. Letter of the day, I should yeah. say. It's A today because it was access all areas for yeah. you. But, you know, obviously watching the lads carry on um, a bit earlier on and giving each other a load of jip animosity and it 
Chisora comes to mind when you talk of animosity because he likes to put it on yeah. his opponents in fight week. But there's, he, he's always, he always yeah. seems to be completely lovely with them afterwards, obviously. No, he is. Draw, I think he's, he's a good guy, isn't he? I think, to be honest, I thought Joe was a little bit out of character trying to prove, no, nah, you're not going to intimidate me. Mm. I'm going to say that on air on Saturday night. Cause Joe's a good guy, isn't he, and stuff. Yeah. And listen, there was very, listen, after a fight like that, yeah. I, I think they respected each other anyway, but yeah, they really, yeah. they really um, did after it, didn't they? And it's just, for me, it was like, and Derek there, I know I'm going off subject a bit, it was just a perfect time to retire. And there's a false, mm. like, alarm wave for, oh my God, is you just announced your retirement? And then, now he quickly no. said, I'm doing a few no, more. Manchester next, he said. Manchester, late in the year. And he wants to fight in Africa as well before he comes yeah. to the day, doesn't he? So, Back in Zimbabwe. Yeah. But if we are focusing on, on that animosity, that word that we, yeah. we obviously get a lot of in boxing, I mean, it didn't really happen for you, did it? There was never any people no, in your fights. No, so never, ever. Um, I remember, obviously, there was... Me and when me and John Murray or me and Kieran Farrell fought, I mean, there a few matches that was there was two, there's a little bit of back and forth, yeah. but never nothing. It doesn't make well, it was John you know Murray, I mean? it was more with John, it was Joe, mates, wasn't yeah, it? It was, it was John, John Gallagher, Joe. the trainer. It was like me and John was always yeah, really yeah. cool. I remember at the head to wed and like, they weren't an handshake, but you know, there's like a bit not of approval, but everyone thought we were talking to each other, and it wasn't. Yeah. It's just like, you know, best of mates now again, obviously. Of course, John's, John's a good guy. Yeah, yeah. But animosity then didn't really happen for you, but when you think of fights where there has yeah. been genuine, genuine needle, what yeah. kind of springs to mind? Genuine needle, you know what springs probably because it's at the front of my mind because they've like sort of buried it and um, they sat down together, which I just thought was brilliant. Um, recent, oh, not re too recent, is it? George Rose, James DeGale. Yeah. Yeah. That was I like that was genuine. That was really yeah. genuine. Um there's let me think. I mean that that's legendary, the ringside appearance as well. Oh, I mean George George had two, didn't he, with the Fox yeah, as well yeah, and yeah, obviously he did. with the game. He didn't he was there, a master really, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. George is a clever guy. Yeah. Um let me think of what others. I just had one in my head then. I think Eddie, I, I Eddie think, and Frank's a good one. Yeah, he is, they made yeah. up. Uh, I think there's a little bit of I think because they're just so different characters. Recent times, had the two fights, Beefy and Eubank. They're just very, very different <laughs> characters, aren't they? Yeah, um, he was ringside the weekend. Did you catch up with him? Was, yeah, I did, I did. So what's he's, his plan? Uh, he's away for a few weeks training camp. Um, I don't know the training camp, but he could have stayed here. We knew it was going to be like here, but we've yeah. had a really bad summer. Um, now he's in a good place. That's, that's a fantastic fight between him and Josh, Josh Keller. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Serbian Warrington, was there a bit of genuine dislike there? I don't know. I don't know if there was actually, to be honest. No, I'm, I'm trying to think of like... I know, it was more, I think it was more the fans, wasn't it? Yeah. I think it was more the fans. There's probably loads of missing out. I'm just thinking more recent times. Yeah. You know, it's 16 years. You've, you had, yeah. you'll remember this. Oh. You had two fights in July in your career. Yeah. I know we're getting, coming out of July now, stepping into August. But can you remember which fights you had? Oh, jeez! You know this, what? This time of the year. I remember. I do remember. I think now. Oh no, that was it's like. Just occurred to me because I remember that Quig was on one so of the. Obviously, it was earlier in my car. Earlier yeah. in my car. Earlier in my career. Yeah. Oh jeez. Um, do you want me to give you a little hand here? Go on, give me a hand, and I'll get it. Fourteen years ago. Yeah. In Bolton. In Bolton. Six rounder. Chris Riley. Chris Riley. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, Chris, yeah. From Middlesbrough. He's a good amateur, Chris. Won a few national titles, I'm sure he did. I remember. Um, I think it was a yeah. card though in Bolton that time. Yes, and his, his coach, his thing, he's passed away since. A nice guy. But yeah, Chris Riley. So that was at. Is um, it the arena? It was at the Bolton yeah. Arena. Yeah. I'm trying to think. I, remember. I remember Martin Murray boxed that night. Yeah, he did. Matthew I think Atten, was on there, Matthew, Matthew Atten defended yeah. the European title. Was that there? Quiggy was on, that, yeah. That would make sense, yeah. And I must have boxed again before that. Um, it no, definitely went after it, because I went away, I remember going on holiday the morning or so after, the day after. No, I'm t no you, the, the second fight you had was a few years later. Oh, July. I'm talking right, about two right. fights on the other July that you one. had in July. So just thinking times a year. Okay, and this was a little bit, the other. No, 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 this was a, this was a Perez big... Perez won? Yeah. Perez won, yeah. 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 Gavin Reese was June. Yeah, Perez yeah. won. Jeez, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, I remember. But I remember, I remember the Chris Riley one, yeah. I remember Chris. I remember dropping him very early on. 
and then yeah. dropping him a body shot later on. But he went distance. It was tough. It was tough, Chris. Yeah, and Perez that, that set, set things up nicely for you, really, didn't it? I mean, it didn't go your way in the yeah. night, but it, it did the second time round. Of course, obviously. it did. Yeah, the, um, that was a massive night in my career, even though it was a draw. And although, like most, I thought it was very. It was a bit unfair. of a robbery, that wasn't it? You know what? I hate crime robbery. Yeah, but it was a bit. Yeah, I, think was I think you were yeah. cheated that night. Yeah, it was. Say, but but it these things yeah, all, it all work scandals. out, don't they? they actually, actually, no, of course out. it worked out in the end. Of course. It doesn't. And by the way, as we're just reminiscing on your career a little bit. Yeah. I found these discarded on the floor in a back room of the gym. Right. Yeah, not my best night. I love those shots, actually. Right, the, these that are old the, school retro. The, the last, last one is I know. against Frank. It should be in the box against the Frank Kirkwig, who, who, who could have got the decision that night. I can't like sit here and well, pretend enough, otherwise. Uh, your your doting brother, William. Yeah, he's went, a lovely lad. Got beaten them. Yep, he did. He did. He, um, he pointed out. I mean, I did an nice bit of detail with the Manchester Bee on the side. Yeah, of course. Um, didn't officially, but in his, yeah. I love people's opinion as well, so yeah, got to be honest, but <laughs> I got a well, that, that, green that night. That's when you decided that was that, obviously. That yeah, was, uh, I decided before it then. November 19, that wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It so, was. Uh, yeah. Good time to stop, actually, when you think about it with COVID ah, and everything else. I know, it, it's it's like actually... it was, yeah, it was planned because I'd, I'd, I never, people always ask me this, I never would have wanted to box on um, behind closed doors because I've, I've, I've been massively off the crowd, so it would have been tough yeah. to... Um, Feed, it yeah. would have been tough to feed off any kind of atmosphere. I always say it, I think it, it really hindered Josh Warrington that time against British O'Lara. I know Lara was a yeah. right handful, yeah, but it was, I'll always remember watching it and he'd always, you know, his songs come on, um, put it to right, the, the lead yeah. song marching on together. Um, and he's like, he's used to looking at the crowd. I remember him like sort of looking out to- To try to, and do his fist pump And it was yeah, like, yeah. I thought, I yeah. thought, gee, that must have felt strange. Mm. So yeah. And for those that are just listening to this, so these are burgundy. Yeah. Gold trim, these shorts. Yeah, they're nice set of shorts. Um, the, the combination of Manchester yeah. and Crawler, obviously, on the yeah. front of the shorts. And Manchester V, as they say on the side. Yeah. Susie Wong, obviously, who always yeah. did your shorts, didn't she? A few sponsors oh, on there, yes. Yeah, do you so not look after all your old merch? Yeah, I do. Memorabilia I do. and all they that. They was just in there, so it just shows a lot about me. I brought him in before William's debut because he was doing a few promo shots and his shorts weren't here yet, so we wore them. And yeah, they've not been to home in over a year because it was a good bit before his debut. Oh well, yeah. there you go. Right, it's a big week ahead as well, Anthony. Yeah. And um, well, we'll be in Belfast at the weekend. We will. There's a big, be a big card. Conlon show there, which um, start with local Irish talent, obviously in the top of the bill. Some belters. Yeah, Tyrone McKenna is in against me. I mean, they've met before, haven't they? I was ringside for yeah. it, and listen, I mean. When we're on about people being hard done by, yeah. that I thought it was very hard done by. Like, listen, I like Tyrone and he's, he's he's got some heart on him, but yeah, I thought he got a little bit of a touch that night. Uh, and Moose just well, he kind of deserves his look, doesn't he, when he's, no, when he's, when he's, when he's had his look? Listen, because, when you're brave like yeah, that, and when you, yeah. you sometimes you get that little bit of look, um, yeah. and also he's not always, he's a great character for the sport as well, so yeah. Yeah. Um, obviously, the return of Keenan Akiyako, yeah. he's back. Um, there's a bit of a local derby as well, isn't there? Which will be interesting. There's a yeah. few. I'm trying to. Um, it's a good card. It's a good card, and I love a Belfast crowd. Yeah, I love it's, Belfast. Um, Jared Hughes, isn't it? Uh, yes. He's in against uh, Rudy Farrell, which that was a uh, contentious, controversial back in December. So yeah, there's a big fight. score to be settled there as well. And there also, is. there's there's obviously a big show as well. Simpson against Shelley, which is an just, interesting one. Just isn't over it? Tills at the back. You can <laughs> actually get yeah. to Barnsley quick from here. You um, can use motorway over uh, Snakes or Woodhead, they always get mixed up. Yeah, but um, you've got to get through Hatsley first, haven't you? It's that roundabout. Yeah, of that's always a bit of a nightmare. And, um, but no, you can get, get to Barnsley that. quick from here. Yeah. Um, do you know what? That's yes, Stadium fight. Chelle, eh? There's yeah. a decent undercard. Caroline Dubois, Caroline Dubois on there yeah. fighting for the interim. Yeah. I, I, I think she's fighting for the interim, but I do think that'll end up getting upgraded. Um, and so I, I feel. Like for Caroline, it's, it's half the world title fight on Saturday. Um, and she, she's she's um, had a bit to say about your lady so who's in there, oh, Rhiannon yeah, Dixon, who's training currently. Yeah, and listen, she's a world champion. Caroline wants to be yeah. a world champion, or I believe, like I said, I think this is all of a world title fight. She's probably looking at unifications, and you know, listen, you respect that because yeah. if that's the case, she wants to unify the belts and she wants to try and prove she's number one in the division. Who's this now? I don't know. Oh, Robbie. It's Robbie. Right, it has me, it has hang in there. Cheers, Robbie. Mate, I'll give you a shout. So Robbie, still um Robbie still, Junior, he's still, yeah. he's still at it, isn't he? He is, he is. He's uh, yeah, and the last fight was unbelievable, yeah. wasn't it? 
but um, also the best dancer in the gym by an absolute mile as well. He's got right? moves. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the plan with Rob? He's fighting again. Pro box um, are coming over here, and uh, yeah, I'll be fighting again in the uh, the early autumn. I think he's just waiting on a date. Right. Very good. Now, Anthony, I know you're all over your social media. So I've slapped just a bit lately. Well, I would you believe it? This is the first Love Island I've missed, and all they right. keep talking about in the gym. Yeah, I thought I'm 37 and 38 later this year. I should grow up. I've not actually watched this this season's mm. Love Island. So what, what's been take, take, piquing your interest then across the socials? Do you know what? I'll be honest. I, I've been watching. I thought my coach. I've been watching quite a lot of bo boxing and opponents and stuff. So I thought, yeah, I'll, um, I'll grow up a bit. But I, I prefer watching Love but Island than opponents. If we're I'm actually honest. going to TV there, but I was kind of in oh, social, social media though. What, what's been? What's it tickled, me, tickled it you? Ah. I don't know if it's keen or kind of fit. If you're just in the gym for the last few weeks, I've been <laughs> right, boys. Your man is the oh, he's in mental shape. He's from a bit near the twins. Trying to get a link twins. to him, yeah. Because I reckon he's got hands as well. Who is it? Who are you so, talking about? I, I, I don't oh, know what exactly. you're on about. You're not bloody on social media, but he's blew up massive. And I was on him earlier. It's called Kay and Fit. Some K Y A N. I'm not sure. Okay. The Welsh pronounce it. Oh, K I. I can't think. But anyway, he's in mental shape. Like and um, he just puts everything what he trains and does in a day, and he just he trains very. He goes in the naughty corner, as he says on the assault bike, <laughs> just bangs out an hour and a half in the in the naughty corner, and um, yeah, he puts it. He loves a skier ball as well, but it's mad how some thing is, and he's just he's just took off. But yeah, he's, he's in mental shape. Right. So what's the plan for the rest of the week? Um, I'm trying to think who else. Um, and do you know we've been on for a bit as well? Me then. But, sorry, no, it's got me. You've asked me a question. I'm finishing yeah, it. Enough. Um What's he called? But you know, it's a bit. I think he's he's half local, but I, I don't. He's a city fan though as well, and that's childish actually. Me saying that. Um, I've got many friends who are city fans. The Mutton Easter. Um, Guinness reviewer. Uh, yeah, Prime Mutton or something like that. He's called. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, the most, he, yeah, no, he's, he's pretty good. He reviews yeah. all the Guinness around, well, the UK, basically. The best pint of Guinness you've ever had? Best pint of Guinness I've ever had? Okay, good shout. Do you know what? We've had a few good ones in Dublin, haven't we? In mm. Belfast, I'm hoping, I'm hoping yeah. in yeah. Belfast on Saturday oh, you're going to put got, it. I've got a few, I've got in, a few. Well, well, I'll be the judge. We could do a review, yeah. couldn't we? So I think, um, what's it called? Hey, listen, in Manchester. I would say it's the obvious say. one, isn't it? Yeah. It's the obvious one, uh, Mulligans, I love Mulligans. Um, I, I, I like the spot, but um, London, what the coaching horses, I do like the coaching horses. Do you know what? It's a toss up between the coaching horses and the toucan. You're speaking like a proper athlete here. No, I know, no, I know, and it's normally after, I'm with you to be honest, most times, but if there's anyone like so in London, but what's the one that I need to try? What well, everyone's on it now. Oh, the Devonshire. Devonshire. The Devonshire. Yeah, yeah. Um, you remember your man in the um, the coaching house? He was he, he was good. He knew a lot of places to go. But uh, but the two can I can't think if it's better upstairs or downstairs. Downstairs for some reason. I downstairs think. seems better. Rooney, Rooney. I'm Rooney. Well, I, mean, I love him, but what? Right? So William that... Connor's got a fight on August the 24th. How's he looking? He's looking all right. The Croft twins. You got eyes, yeah. <laughs> you pay me so, to so hey, You wouldn't wear them. You wouldn't wear them. Look at him. The Croft twins. So these, you know, these two are like, look, Welsh. Like, they, they, do you know what we've done? We went to Florida. They felt the need. <laughs> <laughs> they felt the need. That's how I will. Open the case. I want to fucking hell that. This part of big Welsh flag for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hang over the balcony? Have yeah, you used to hang over the balcony. You're like, you're someone hangs a towel over it. Yeah, Brits yeah, abroad. Just yeah. let everyone know the Welsh. Just in case. Anyway, stop that right there. <laughs> you excited about your fight, William, at the arena? Yeah, first step up. Wanna, uh, wanna think I'll shine in. Yeah. Uh, probably beat off three top lads, but yeah, I'm looking to the best job on it. Yeah. yeah. Looking forward to it. I'm excited for the, these two to I make their debuts. I am excited for these two. Yeah. These are, um, mm. yeah. We should have Hopefully some they'll, they'll settle soon. into the gym one day soon. Yeah, I hope so. And like they're setting into <laughs> Manchester life. Um, yeah, how are they going to cope? Nottingham, they yeah. seem to, you know, they seem to be getting there. It's a bit slow. Yeah. To, so you're taking to it now, aren't you? Hey? Yeah, no, Yon's bro in there. Really? Bro us all. Right. Yeah. Yeah, they'll never go back to the countryside, I don't think these two, will they? <sighs> City boys now. Right here, we done. Yeah. On the weekend. Fair play. Yeah, I, I, well. I, I, I do owe you. Yeah, I do. Do you know what? Even, even hey, there in a bit, I owe him. Yeah. I owe I, listen, this bet. So, your one was going on a date Friday night, and he sent me a picture and told me like, you know, a bit about her. I went, oh, she's a vegan. She's definitely a vegan. 
or a veggie, you even let me have veggie as well, and she wasn't, she was a meat eater, wasn't she? It's a lunch and crawler next time. So we had Let's a lunch bet, but think yeah, anyway. knowing him, he probably 100% knew that before having the bet. There's a good Greg's around the corner anyway. Yeah, so steak That's and eggs, I fell game steak and eggs in the yeah. coffee shop. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. So what's you the know, date? You know the coffee shop we go to. Which one? Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah. Very yeah. nice. Is that what you're doing today? What's the, what's the, the, the plan know, for you lot? I might actually be there in a bit, but your lunch, I won't, I won't swear with you for lunch. If we've had the I lunch bet. See you later. Like, like, Bruce is away. Always in a yes. rush, isn't you, Will? Someone who doesn't drive. Yeah. Always in a rush, isn't you? I'm going to walk home. I can't be sitting there talking shit to you. <laughs> <laughs> Do well, yeah, all right. No, but I might be there in a bit of there in a bit. I'll give you a shout. Week sometime. I yep, I will. I owe you lunch, mate. It's a deal. Yeah. I bet's a bet. Yeah. Right. Look, I was as shocked as you. I thought you were winning there. Yeah, I did. I thought I was on a shirt, but the fact you was comfortable having the bet makes me think you knew. I didn't know. I did think she was. A, I thought she was. So, for people are just listening it. to this. It's the voices of Yohan and Garen Croft. Yeah, Yohan and Garen Croft. We're making the professional yeah. debut very soon. Yeah. New soon. Yeah. Hopefully this. Well, this, this week. year. Oh, this week. This week yeah. Yeah. No. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully yeah, the news this week. Well, there Do we go. Yeah. Well, that'll do us. That'll do us. I think, Anthony. For, for now, you've yeah. we've, you've set the scene oh, for the week ahead. Same colour as this. Are they? Yeah. They are actually really are. smart shorts. Burgundy is. We're burgundy and grey. We are. Yeah, that's a good show. How come that? Just a reason. I just like Club it. Village. Is it the village? Club village. Club 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 ah, right. Ah, you've got the boxes, haven't you? Yeah. You've got the boxes. Badge by there. Do you know what? what? The last native prince of Wales. All oh, right, okay. okay. I knew that. Do not I rate it. Since. What? Right. There's not been one since. So you're the new princes of Wales. No, I mean, there's no there's Wales and got a prince. Uh, now Charles has retired. There's, well, no, Charles is king now. Not since England do. That's fact. Okay. okay. There you go. Get your little <laughs> thing cancelled. Wow, you're killing me. You're killing me. <laughs> no, that, it's like a black and yellow badge, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to do mm. the dragon. Almost like a Scottish thing. Are you going to put the Manchester B on it now as well? No. No. Don't oh. like Maybe a swan. A swan, swan yeah. you could do. I Manchester B is not. I'm not having Macrawler on it. I don't want you to have Macrawler on it. Yeah. By association. Exactly. Oh, I just put on my shorts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't work too hard, Dom. Okay. Don't worry about that. Don't, yeah, don't worry about, don't about that. that. See you in a bit. See you John. See you there, mate. <laughs> Forgot to ask you as well, by the way, about Crawford. He's in action, isn't he? Crawford, Heck I can't wait. Yeah. Hey, I think it's a top fight. You know, I've, like Crawford's been my mm. number one for a bit, hasn't he? Um, I think Majumov's very good, though. I think it's um, a very good fight. Listen, I think Crawford comes through it. I think for the first two, three rounds, it's a bit of a you know high-level game of chess, but I just think yeah, that's mm. a bit of, you know, from Crawford and how versatile he is, I think that'll come into play. Yeah. And, yeah, probably points, possibly a late stoppage. Well, we'll catch up next weekend after our we little, little trip to Belfast. So. We will. We will not be rough. We'll see. We'll see how that pans out. But yeah. So there we go. That's that. So um, yeah, next week with all the tales of Belfast.